thank you, Deputy, for riding off. <coughs> um, I agree with the concern expressed by the motion that some developers have not been building roads to an adoptable standard, leaving the cost of bringing the road up to standard firmly on the doorstep of the home buyer or alternatively saddling home buyers with ongoing maintenance costs. I'm therefore very pleased to be able to speak in support of the motion. Um, others, including um, particularly Di, um, have, have covered historic unadopted roads extensively. So I, I want to, to talk about new build um, estates and please forgive me if I duplicate what's already been said because I, I am agreeing with you all pretty much. Um, um, so for the most part, if not all home buyers, the, the house buying process is exactly that. The process of buying a house and a home, not buying a piece of road or working out how to maintain it. Whilst it's true that professional advisors will advise their home buying clients about the implications of the roads not being adopted, the buyer isn't in a position to assess how much it will cost them and to be able to properly assess the risk um, to them of the, the roads not being adopted. Furthermore, by the time the buyer has that conversation with their advisor, in whatever form that conversation may take, the buyer has made a financial, time-wise and emotional investment in buying the home. It's very, very hard to walk away from buying that property and it's impossible to do so if that's the only home you can afford. But I disagree that the problem lies solely in weakness in the house buying process. Um, so surely this is a problem caused primarily by a weakness in the planning consent process which has been highlighted by, by, by uh, pretty much everybody who's spoken today. Um, it seems to me that the time to address adoption of a development's roads is at the time of planning consent by the local authority. My view would be that if a developer wants to build a housing estate and take the profit that arises from it, that same developer should ensure that the roads on the development are of a standard to be adopted by the local authority. Local residents shouldn't be, in, be, be expected to carry the, carry the onus of taking that process forward in upgrading the road so that the council will take the roads on. Um, the big question for me is why, is, and part of it has been answered today, is why planning departments or local authorities haven't, or haven't already been stipulating that roads need to be constructed to an adoptable standard. It has been answered, I know. And why, and why highways departments at the same local authorities have not been addressing this for years. But this has been going on for donkeys. You know, and you know, planning, planning was, was devolved some time ago. So the, the logical question here is why has Welsh Government not already addressed this? This has been going on for years. Um, and so the idea of a task force, task force is an excellent one, I think. Um, this issue isn't simple and proper consideration of the options needs to be given, including the amendment or creation of appropriate planning legislation. Um, so I'm therefore supporting this, uh, this motion. Thank you.